Hello friends, this video on fractions and decimals part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now it comes to types of fraction. Now fractions can be divided into many types. Proper fraction where the numerator is less than the denominator. Now can you tell me a quick recap. What is numerator? What is denominator? Denominator D for denominator D for down. So the number which is present down is denominator number which is present on the top is numerator so examples of proper fraction could be 1 by 9 it could be minus 3 by 6 it could be 1 by 200 so these are all examples of proper fractions because you see the numerator is smaller than the denominator and it has also been observed that the absolute value of the fraction is less than 1 of the fraction when I say that means for proper fractions uh, what is the meaning of absolute value absolute value means non-negative value the value without considering the sign for example here you have minus 3 by 6 if I ask you what is the absolute value of minus 3 by 6 the absolute value would be 3 by 6 because we have to uh, ignore the sign whether it is a positive sign or a negative sign absolute value is always positive so absolute value of 1 by 9 would be 1 by 9. Absolute value of minus 3 by 6 would be 3 by 6. Yes, perfect. So that's absolute value. So in proper fraction, we see that absolute value is always less than 1. That means when you actually look at the value of 1 by 9, you would see that this value is less than 1. You take any example, let's say 2001 divided by 2000. Two. This is also a proper fraction because numerator is lesser. But when you actually divide and see what is the value, you would see that this is lesser than 1. You talk about 19 by 20. Here also this is a proper fraction and the value of this fraction is less than 1. Now can you guess what would be improper fraction? Just the reverse of proper fraction. So here numerator is more than the denominator. So something like 19 by 18 or minus 2001 divided by 2000 or minus 9 by 2. So these are all examples of improper fractions because we see that the numerator, the number on the top is bigger than the number below. So these are examples of improper fraction. And the last one is mixed fraction, which is neither a proper fraction nor an improper fraction. So what it is, it is basically a combination of whole number and proper fraction. So something like this, let us look at some examples, say 3, 1 by 2, what is this? Here 3 is a whole number and 1 by 2 is a proper fraction. So 3, 1 by 2 is a mixed fraction, so this as a whole is a mixed fraction. Similarly, you think of minus 7, 3 by 4. You can think of 3, 1 by 10, 1 by 100. So these are all examples of mixed fraction. Now a mixed fraction, one, one interesting thing about a mixed fraction is that it can always be written as an improper fraction. Do you know how? For example, you have 3, 1 by 2. So how do we convert it into a proper or improper fraction? First of all, you will not be able to convert a mixed fraction into a proper fraction. Every time you would get an improper fraction. If you want, you can try it out with a number of mixed fractions. Now first, how do we convert it? You multiply these two and then add these two. So just remember this, a multiply here and an addition here. So what we do is we actually multiply 3 into 2. So that is 6. And with the product, we add 1. So basically, 3 into 2 plus 1 divided by the denominator remains the same. It was 2, so it will still remain 2. So it becomes 6 plus 1 by 2, which is equal to 7 by 2. So 3, 1 by 2 is the same as 7 by 2. 
so every mixed fraction can also be written as an improper fraction like 3 1 by 2 is written by as 7 by 2 now can you tell me how can you write 3 1 by 100 so here also you will multiply these two and then add this so basically this would be 100 into 3 plus 1 divided by 100 so this would be 301 by 100 so this is again an improper fraction now do you know why a mixed fraction can only be expressed as improper fraction that's because in a mixed fraction you already have one part as proper fraction but the moment you multiply it with a whole number the overall value increases right because what is happening is the denominator remains the same there is no change in the denominator but in the numerator we are multiplying it with a whole number and then adding something because of which the value of the numerator is increasing and whenever the value of numerator is more it is an improper fraction therefore a mixed fraction always gives rise to an improper fraction clear so that's about proper improper and mixed fraction now here in this lesson we will only deal with the positive numbers even though fractions can be negative because fractions deal with integers but uh, just to keep things simple at this level we will mostly deal with the positive values of fractions Now again when we talk about fractions it becomes important to talk about like and unlike fractions. So what are like fractions and what are unlike fractions. Now those fractions with same denominators are called like fractions. So let us look at some examples. So let's say 1 by 2, 5 by 2, 789 by 2, minus 5 by 2. 0 by 2. All of these are like fractions because all of them have the same denominator that is 2. So they are all like fractions. Now when it comes to unlike fractions, these are definitely fractions with different denominators. For example 0, 16 by 5, 1 by 3, 9 by 8, so these are all unlike fractions. Anyways, 0 is a whole number because any whole number can be written as ratio of two integers because 0 can be written as 0 by 1. 5 can be written as 5 by 1. But here when we are talking specifically about fractions, we are not considering the whole numbers. So let's say for unlike fractions like here 16 by 5, 1 by 3, 9 by t. 9 by 8 everywhere you see that the denominators are different now even if the numerator is the same like 9 by 8 and 9 by 7 here the denominators are different so they are unlike fractions doesn't matter whether the numerators are same or not so when we you know like uh, differentiate fraction as like or unlike we only compare their denominators so it is independent of their numerators now here you can ask a very very interesting question. Let us consider these two fractions 9 by 3 and 21 by 7. Consider these two fractions. What do you think? Are they like fractions or unlike fractions? Now directly looking at them you quickly compare the denominators here it is 3 and here it is 7. So they are different so they definitely should be unlike fractions. But you know something very interesting is there. Actually both of these fractions they actually represent the same fraction. These are just different ways of representing the same fraction. You know why? When you look at 9 by 3 the value of this fraction comes out to be 3 because 3 into 3 is equal to 9. When you look at the value of 21 by 7, here also the value comes out to be 3. So basically 9 by 3 and 21 by 7, they both represent the same number 3. So that means in a way both of these fractions are kind of you know similar or kind of uh, equivalent you can say. And this is where we also talk about 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.